Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com, Utah Hockey Club presents novel idea, affordable concessions. Utah Hockey Club is going to try something disruptive that 31 other NHL owners might roll their eyes at. The relocated franchise will offer concessions at an absurdly cheap price. Bottled water will be $2, while hot dogs, nachos, popcorn, and ice cream will be $3 each. Your fan faves, even better, popcorn, at Utah Hockey Club wrote on X. We're excited to announce $2 and $3 concession offerings, available at all hashtag UTHC games at a Delta Center. Not only are cheap concessions kind to fans who are already paying a lot for tickets, but it's also good marketing and branding for a club trying to get its footing in its inaugural season. UTHC, formerly the Arizona Coyotes, moved to Salt Lake City's Delta Center over the summer after former owner Alex Marula could not secure an arena deal and had the team playing at a college arena. The team is now owned by the Smith Entertainment Group, which is controlled by businessman Ryan Smith and his wife Ashley. The Utah Jazz will follow suit with the same prices this season. The NFL's Atlanta Falcons first introduced a rethink of concession prices in 2017 when Mercedes-Benz Stadium opened. The club decided to offer the lowest prices for food and drink at the major sports team level. The Falcons offered $2 hot dogs, $2 sodas, $3 slices of pizza, and $5 cheeseburgers and beer. In any fan survey, food and beverage is one of the most important drivers of fan experience and the one that is the most broken, Steve Cannon, CEO of AMB Group, told ESPN. It's either lack of quality, lousy delivery or blood-curdling pricing. Since then, some teams have followed suit, but not many, as evidenced by the $25 taco the Kansas City Royals offered earlier this season. Fans know that when they're at a sporting event, Food and drink will be marked up some as owning a successful sports franchise or arena is an expensive venture. It's when the prices become astronomical, like $20 for a chicken tenders and fries basket, that you feel like you're being taken advantage of. While lowering concession prices would yield less money, the idea in itself isn't all bad for franchises. The gesture would help make the game experience more enjoyable for fans while having those who are closest to the brand presumably in the building longer. That could give teams ways to get that money back in other ways through merchandise and ticket sales.